Chris Broussard were going viral. Steph Curry was a participant in oh, the no. celebrity golf tournament at Lake Tahoe over Try the weekend. Try to get Steph. <laughs> he didn't uh, spend Give all this time try. on the course. Check out Steph missing three. No. He Not three. one. He didn't or two. miss three. <laughs> you got can't be right, Jenna. Oh. Ooh. Give him one more try. At least he didn't get hung on the rim, though. Come on, hold up. First of all, looks he like he's looking. Here we go. Right, all right, one more try, Steph. You got it now. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no. Not great. <laughs> that ain't great, Nick. That ain't great. Chris Broussard would have thrown it down. I used to be able to dunk. I mean, you still could. That wasn't even Probably at no 10 feet. 10 times. It didn't look 10 feet. I understand he's wearing the golf spikes a little tough, but come on, Steph. It's close to 10 foot. Yeah. Oh, and grass. That's, that's all he got. He was up high enough. That's that's the saving grace. The janky rim. He was the up high enough. Right, rim. right. It was the rim. The net it wasn't makes like it he tighter. Got hung. So and the oh, no. Did he not? It wasn't like he got hung on the rim. No, it's that just like really he three terrible. dogs. At, where is that? Lake Tahoe? You know Nick, what can you saying? touch the rim right now? Can you touch 100%. the rim today? I'll bet you, you any amount dunk? of money you, you want. No, I can't still dunk. But yes, of course. How long did your dunking career last? Give me that. <laughs> when could you dunk and when did it end? Come on, the, the truth. career started. The truth. Started into junior year. I'm not supposed to talk about my sports accomplishments. In junior year, I This won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> into, I would say it ended. It ended in college when I broke Did it last head. longer than that haircut my man Craig got? It was better than the haircut Craig got. All right. I'll tell you that much. Let's, Come on, uh, Steph, you a league MVP, man. <laughs> He's like, hey, I can shoot. Talk yeah, to Anthony Davis. <laughs> uh, the Browse officially announced as a Laker at his introductory press conference on Saturday. Hey, when you pair a former number one pick and six-time All-Star and Anthony Davis next to arguably the best player of all time in LeBron James, you'd think the rest of the roster would just sort of fall into place. There is no falling here. The Lakers strategically built a talented team around the two stars. And if you ask Anthony Davis, He'll tell you it's pretty unstoppable, this team. I like Planet 4. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I like Planet 4. I don't really like Planet 5. But um, if it comes down to it, Coach, and I, you need me to play the 5, then <laughs> I'll play the 5. But, um, <laughs> but um, like I said, it's, the, the game has become so positionless that, you know, you can put five guys on the floor and then they just play. You know, obviously you guys seen that thing that came out about LJ running a point. Super tall, be you know, it's a super tall point guard. So you never, it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, you just put five guys out there that that fits best with each other and go out there and win. I love it for start. I'll play the five. No, I won't. Not even a little bit. <laughs> Do the Lakers be playing the five? Uh, he's probably at some point. Do the Lakers though have the best roster in the NBA? Echoing what Anthony Davis pretty much said there. They certainly have a roster that can win a championship. Like they they have mm -hmm. every reason they should go into the season thinking we're gonna win the championship. They have enough now. Ten years ago. It would have been over, and not because LeBron would have been 10 years younger. I'm just saying style of play. When the game was a bigger game, three-point shooting wasn't as important. With Boogie, AD, I mean, it would have been ridiculous. But even in today's game, they did improve their shooting. Danny Green, Quinn Cook, mm -hmm. Avery Bradley's not bad, KCP, you know, Troy Daniels. Like, they added some shooting. They obviously have size. I think they can have a devastating small lineup with AD at center, even though he may not want to play there. So, yeah, they, they have a roster that they should feel like they should win the championship next year. Well, and the, listen, they, the, the pieces fit if everyone understands their role. Take the Anthony Davis position thing aside, because even though he's best at the five, he's damn good at the four. Right. His first team All-NBA when he played the four. So we, we know he can do that. Like, if they just get... Just call it an average year from LeBron. If LeBron can just do what he did at year two, forget last year, the year before when he was setting career highs, 27, seven and seven. That's his career averages. It's also what he did starting in year two in this league. If he can do that, and if Anthony Davis can do the last, what we saw him do the last time he played a full season, 75 games, 28 and 11, combined four blocks and steals, damn near won the MVP, first team all NBA, if you have those two players, then what you need is everyone else to play their part. You need Danny Green to be 3 and D. You need Kyle Kuzma to give what Coach Vogel talked about, his full effort and attention to the defensive side in addition to getting back to his rookie year level shooting. And then there's four of your six. Because I, 
no team right now that has the star power the Lakers have and goes 10 deep. Right. You have the Clippers have similar star power to the Lakers. They don't go 10 deep either. They go six, seven guys, and then you'll see who they add in the buyout market. You'll see who, who they trade for during the year. The Lakers' top six is LeBron, Anthony Davis, Kuzma, Green, Boogie, and then the sixth, which would be Avery Bradley if he's healthy. That plus a guy they add, be it Corver, or Iguodala, JR might get bought out later today. Like someone else they add and someone they add the midseason. That can go eye to eye with the Clippers, with the Rockets, with the Bucks, with the Sixers. I don't think there's a clear favorite. I know some people have said the Clippers are the clear favorite. Some people said the Lakers. I don't think there is a clear favorite. I think it's heads of a different coin right now when it comes to that. And we have to see how these guys mesh. You have more confidence the Clippers meshing right. than the Lakers meshing. But I think the Lakers' upside is higher than that of just about any other team. Well, the Clippers players, outside of Paul George and Kawhi, their role players are going to do exactly what they've been asked to yep. do. And that part right there, the Lakers, we don't know that. We don't know what to buy in. We do believe that there's tremendous just on the court what Paul George can do, what Kawhi can do with the other players that they have. And we got a lot of confidence in Doc Rivers that he's going to be able to put those pieces together. But Anthony Davis, he should have a lot of confidence when he looks at this roster. The last time that he felt confident about a roster, he was talking about him and Boogie Cousins. Rondo was the point guard. So now... They got Rondo on the roster, you got Boogie Cousins, you got LeBron, you got Danny Green, you got KCP, you got Avery Bradley. He, I could see why he'd go to the press conference being like, absolutely. Right. But what I look for in the Lakers, and I hope they do this, I hope LeBron looks at AD as the primary score. Because if we, if we break down AD's whole game, the weakest part of his game, and it's excellent, that's his low post game. And that's one of the reasons why he doesn't like playing against a center in the low post with his back to the bucket. Because you talk about, all oh, it's, he has mismatches. When he's playing the four, there ain't no four can guard him. And the four can't guard him in the low post. So you see, there is no disadvantage when he's at a four compared to, I know what you're talking about when he plays the five. But he's realized, I'm first team all NBA even at the four. The rest of that roster, will they buy into their roles? If they have to make some starters, some bench players, will they accept that role? Like we know, the Clippers down the hallway mm -hmm. in Doc Rivers, we know that team will do. So that's the difference right now as far as the teams in L.A. But I just believe other teams around the league are going to have something to say about this. You also have to give the Lakers some credit. We all talked about how if they don't get Kawhi, they're out of it as far as landing anyone that was going to help these two guys. And they somehow found a way to put pieces together with shooters, not like what Magic did, but with right. shooters that are complimentary, complimentary no to AD you, and LeBron. You have to give them an A for what they did after yeah. Kawhi. They did a great job. No question about that. I, uh, the Lakers just have more questions. I agree with you. They're the deepest team probably in the league. They've got the best duo, LeBron and AD. I would take over Kawhi and Paul George. But is everybody going to buy in? If Boogie doesn't start or finish, is he going to buy in? Is he going to have an attitude? Is that going to be a problem? If Kuzma doesn't start or finish, is that going to be a problem? Do they buy into Frank Vogel? Because we know had LeBron mm -hmm. had his druthers, Ty Lue would be the coach, and maybe Jason Kidd, would, who's an assistant, would be the second choice, and he's right there. And you saw they just so, hired. They just hired Phil Handy, yes. former yeah, Cavs yeah, coach, yeah. and was with the Raptors last year. Like, no, Vogue, listen, Vogel's got his work cut out for him as much as any coach in the league. He also has, at the top of his roster, more talent right. in the top two guys than any coach in the league. Chris, thanks so much for today. Much appreciated. Welcome back, man. Good Take a break. Let's talk some football. Is Odell Beckham on the verge of a career lab, season dog. with Baker? Next on First Things First. Years. Okay. He's a great player, man. Uh, I don't know. He's a great player. Miles and miles.